to End of Steel for World Food Day. Thank you. So we just have uh, some city business to get over with here before we start everything. Uh, it's our honor to receive a proclamation from the city of Edmonton and uh, Ben Henderson is here to present that to us. Yeah. Um, sorry to have to. I'm gonna to have to proclaim and run. I'm afraid because I've, I've I'm supposed to be off door knocking right now. And uh, and Michael asked me if I could come over and do this yesterday, and I said absolutely. I'd be delighted to. Um, and I I guess um, just to say a little bit before I do the proclamation. I mean, I the, the city's taking tiny little steps. I think uh, along uh, dealing better with our food supply and food security and local food in particular. We did get uh, Fresh Pass this year, which is our, 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 our local food plan. Um, it has some flaws to it, but I think it was a step in the right direction. We've now got the Food Council in place, which is supposed to take it the next set of steps. And, um, and I'm hoping that some of the things that are in there that are recommended, we can begin to move on quickly, like uh, backyard hens, and uh, I would hope also bees. So um, uh, keep an eye on that, keep on pushing for it. Uh, I think we're, you know, it'd be nice to be making our steps faster, but I think we are making, we, we have got some moves now going in the right direction and we just need to keep the pressure up. So having said that, um, I will read the proclamation. Um, so whereas 842 million people, more than 10% of the world's population are undernourished, and whereas the Food and Agricultural Organization of the United Nations, FAO, works under increase works to increase awareness of the problem and help find solutions in the drive to end hunger. And whereas the FAO annually recognizes World Food Day in an effort to stimulate national, bilateral, and, and multilateral and non-governmental non efforts to this end. And whereas countries, cities, and communities around the globe will, recognize, will organize events and activities on this day to strengthen international national solidarity in the struggle against hunger, malnutrition and poverty and draw attention to achievements in food and agricultural development. Therefore, I, on behalf of Mayor Stephen Mandel, do proclaim, hereby proclaim October 16, 2013, World Food Day in Edmonton, Alberta's capital city. I'm sorry to have to run. Okay, yeah. So right now, more than ever, we need to get involved and get engaged and demand food the way that we want it. Do you want real food? Yes! Do you want chemical-free food? Yes! Do you want food the way nature intended? Yes! Then it's time to raise our voices and be heard. Come on, let's hear you! Yeah! That's why we're here today. So World Food Day is today and it's every day. Every dollar you spend shows your support for the food that you want for yourselves and for your families. Every choice you make shows your support for the world that you want for yourselves and for your children. 62 countries either ban or label the ingredients that are in 80% of the food on our grocery store shelves. Meanwhile, our government is telling us that it's safe. They tell us they've rigorous, rigorously assessed the safety of these biotechnology products. We know this is not true. We know that our own government doesn't do any of its own testing. As citizens of Canada, our government has a fiduciary duty to us. Their top job is to keep us safe and healthy. While they fight in the parliament and make decisions that affect us all, they're not seeing the bigger picture. Once again, we must tell them that this is not acceptable to us. When it comes to our health and the safety of our families, we will not sit idly by while the food we eat makes us sicker. We will not sit idly by while they tell us that genetically modified ingredients and other chemicals added to our food and water is safe. So just want to do a little chant here I thought was pretty cool. If you just want to repeat after me. Inch by inch. Inch by inch. Row by row. Row by row. I'm going to let my garden grow. I'm going to let my garden grow. We don't need no GMO. 